Right, mate, so we're finally back. <clears throat> uh, it's been another couple of weeks. Two it? weeks off, mate, yeah, sulking. Sulking, yeah. No, it's uh, obviously it's a busy time for us. We, I don't think I put it on Twitter, actually. I put it on Facebook. But for those that don't know, we, we had a venue which everyone's probably seen where it's got a big East Riding Futsal Club banner, big sign saying East Riding Futsal League. Uh, it was a venue where we did probably the majority of our stuff where they want it. It's where we yeah, for the young kids, yeah. It's where we started. Our men's team trained there as well, didn't they? Uh, but we lost it. We lost it to a CrossFit gym. It's now been converted mm. with all different apparatus and things like that, but we obviously were left on our feet. Uh, yeah, we've got a venue, but we've fortunately secured yeah. Secured a new one, so we've been we've been busy trying to get that up and ready, aren't we? And I'm now recording, mate, from the yeah. We'll so call it uh, the manager's room or the changing room. Uh, well, yeah, I'll, I'll maybe do a quick video showing the facilities. But yeah, we've got we've got home and away changing rooms. Yeah, we've got a court big enough for tier two. Um, we can basically do what we want. We've we've we've, we've got on a free year lease, haven't we? Yeah, it's something we wanted to. We, we had to. There's, well, there's not many facilities where you can um, sort of do what you want. So we knew we needed something privately owned space. So we've uh, we've secured that, which I think it's something long term for us. I think we we sort of preached about it. If, if we want clubs to move forward in the sport of futsal, we need we need that more. I think Chris Orton's mentioned a couple of times about clubs not owning their own venue as well. I don't know how many it is. I know the universities obviously will, but uh, we're certainly one of them where we can not own it, but we've, we've tied up on a free year lease where <laughs> well, <laughs> you and I have got to commit to it every month now. And well, we know where we are, don't we? we didn't, yeah. I think we didn't want to be in that position where we was, where we could just get chucked out, given a week's notice. Well, he gave us about a month, didn't he, in the end? Well, he thought he'd give us a month. But he never, yeah. It's when, <laughs> it's when all the schools shut, so we had... He'd give us a week before a the week. schools shut, yeah. So luckily we've got this place. Yeah. So I think it's going to be better for us, bigger, the court's a bit bigger. We can all host up to probably, well, we can host up to men's now, can't we? Yeah. So it's going to be good. Getting all the speakers in there, getting the lasers in there. It's going to be, it's going to be go. good once we, once we get it all up and running. Yeah. And obviously we've got an office now as well. We yeah. are a little changing. <laughs> Find a weather of space. It's a bit lucky yeah. at the minute and a bit. Yeah. Bit all legal dip, so yeah, but, see all the uh, stuff around. But this is where, yeah, this is where it'll all happen now and here. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So yeah. So that's where we've been. It's. Uh, like yeah. So we're people that. probably think we're sulking. I know Liverpool will be probably thinking we're sulking because they beat us. Uh, but we haven't. We've just been. There's been too much on, and we had nowhere to film this. Now we've now we've got the keys to this place. We can come in and film when we want. Yeah, we've so. been getting locked out. At, five o'clock but we haven't been able to do anything and no so we've been busy getting that ready i, I think so this just took yeah i well, think what it, what it has re made me realize is obviously the first team and the men's team is, is great and it's it's probably the pinnacle and that's the the furthest our club can go in terms of how well the men's team do uh, at the moment uh but it's not the top of our priority it's sort of <laughs> we've had to sort of Make a lot of sacrifices, haven't we? I'll tell you what, we're top priority, Dan, and people might not realise this. These are actually home brews. Oh, if yeah. If we are done, we have actually, our first purchase was... Um, coffee machine. New coffee machine. Sick of spending £8 a go at Costa or yeah. McDonald's. So, yeah, um, so our first one to... In-house, in-house coffee machine. So, yeah, we've got a little fridge, got a fan, got a TV to watch our crap games back. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've got changing rooms. We'll have the video yeah. camera up. We'll have the speakers. All the kids will play here. We'll have the lights. It, sh it should. It should be. Yeah. Long term yeah. ambition. We want to. We want to paint the floor as well. Don't we get the four painted? Well, well, no. Long long term ambition is. There's a well, big, what, oh, what, yeah. What <laughs> there's, a land, there's, there's land out there which I'm hoping we can get. Uh, maybe three or four futsal courts side by side, but it needs some kind of dome going over the yeah. top. But. That, that's my dream, that's long term, but there's land there doing nothing. Well, later on, I think we're, we're going to touch on this, but we might get older rants and see if them uh, billionaires <laughs> <laughs> in, yeah, yeah. invest in, 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 our ten, in our tennis court outside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe if we could just have a, a slight yeah. little piece of them billions. Um, but yeah, so it's uh, the, the building's owned by the council, but it's been leased by Hull FC, the professional rugby team. 
So we've we've been fortunate. We've had some good discussions with them, and they've basically realised the work we do, and that we were sort of left with no home. So they've mm. they've they've welcomed us in, and obviously we've uh, we've had to make sure we can uh, fund this every month. So yeah, we'll, we'll have a lot going on here, won't we? But yeah, well, uh, yeah. It'll, it's, it'll be great for football in the area because now there's going to be something on nearly every single night at two or three great, yeah. two or three venues now. Uh, because we do have other venues, but we don't. We do go different ones, don't we? And yeah. we we try and do the majority of one, just because we can have everything in house. So yeah, so that's where we've been. That's what we've been doing. We don't move in properly until the end of October. So yeah, if it takes us another couple of weeks to get a video, then that's, yeah, that's where we are. Yeah, apologies. <laughs> if Trent beat us on Sunday, then yeah, yeah. Well, we haven't even looked at anything, have we? No. Yeah, we haven't it's even the beat, but yeah, we're not. Yeah. But again, we'll, we'll move on to Liverpool because I'm sure people will realise we were quite quiet yeah. after the Liverpool game. Um, yeah, for me it was, yeah, it, it, it was all right. What did it finish? Seven six. Yeah. It was an all right game on it. It won brilliant. I think um, for some of their players again, we need to stop doing these videos because I think for for the captain in particular was on the time timekeeping duties. I think he thought it was for the World Cup. I, mean, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if we wound these players up and they, they get them all riled up. I to, think so. I don't know, but well, what I will say about Liverpool is we did have uh, we did have two very close games against them last season. I know the other league tables was maybe two or three yeah. teams between us, but I wouldn't have said last season there was much between us. No, uh, not really. Not really. They had a um, couple of new players. Very good players. I, I, like, I liked them. Yeah, two, yeah. two really good players. I, yeah. I liked. They got that number. Still got the number ten from last year. Yeah. Who, who was like? Well, the difference between him and you is he gets free kicks and you didn't. Because <laughs> <laughs> he darts as much. He goes. Well, he, I watch that. You don't dart. You go. If, if if you need to go down, you'll go down. He does exactly the same, and he got everything. Yeah, yeah. He, he got. He's quite clever. Player. He's a very good player. I'll give him that. He's very good. He gets a slightly touched up. Not where he goes. Yeah. Very theatrical, goes down, gets a free kick. I think we got one free kick in the first half. I think we got to. And I had to beg. Yeah, I, yeah, in the first half, I had to beg for that. Yeah, yeah. As an advantage. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he gave us it, and we got one free kick. They, I think they got. Did they get six? Scored a 10 metre penalty. Yeah. Um, and then the second half, it, it flipped. We got all the free kicks. Yeah. So suddenly they turned into free kicks, what we was getting. But it was just. It was a. Uh, was it a good game? It wasn't really, was it? No, I think it, I think what I will say it, it depends in terms of quality. No, but it, I think it was entertaining. It was nice to see there was noise there in the crowd. It did add to it. It's horrible when you when the goals are going in against you uh, and the noise. But if I look at it from a futsal perspective, it, it was a good game for the neutral. And I think some people have watched it back and said it was a good game. I think Liverpool have commented it themselves and said. Uh, like nail biting game and stuff. But that's uh, that's and this is what we need to get away from because that's us. Yeah, that is. We us. we do. You call us short time. It, yeah. We are short time because every game it's always seven six or seven five one way or the other. And we never ever kill a game off yeah. or just win easy. We'd have to. We do it really hard way. This time it just didn't work for us. We got it back to four all, didn't we? At one point, and then conceded three. Oh my God, this. Yeah. But it was all on the counter, wasn't it? We kept beating, and we've looked at this. Well, we have. Well, we have, but we've looked at how we defend when the opposition in open ball, play. In open play, yeah. And we, we did. I don't know if we conceded any goals in the way we thought we would, but we we conceded goals because again we we can't keep hold of the ball. No, when we go forward. <laughs> yeah, we make bad decisions. Yeah, we'll have a free on two. Yeah, yeah, and we we'll concede, and we pretty much bomb it every time. <laughs> we'll make the worst choice, and that leaves. Yeah. Then yeah. they go two on two on one or three on one, punish us. Yeah. And then and they get away with it. So we've got to stop. It's it's us on the attack. I think that's the problem at the minute. Defending open play, we're all right. Yeah, yeah. I think we've just got better players than other teams, and we can cope with it. Yeah. But. Yeah, on the attack. So we have been, we're looking at that now, aren't we? We're, yeah. But we're trying to change how we play. And I know. So this season, there might be a few results in there that uh, people might think we're falling apart, but we're not. We're trying to change the way we play because of the reason. If we sit in like we we could, we did when we won two or three, whatever yeah. it was. We can sit in 
and we can launch it to you on, the, on, on to you and go one on one, and we'll win the majority of games. Brilliant, man. And if we did that this season, I think we'd get promoted. Well, I was speaking to a couple of our players, and there was a, they they wondered why we wasn't sitting in. And my explanation was, well, we've discussed this, and there's winning games, and then there's developing as a team, and I think. I think our problem is we've we've seen that the, the level what we can get to in how we play and we hit we hit a limit we hit a ceiling yeah and we want to break that ceiling and we can't break the ceiling by just doing the same things we've got to try something different so our players will hit it but we're gonna to have to try and improve before we win if we win and improve it I know that sounds stupid because we're in a competitive league and we need to win and we want to win every game but there's a way to win but I, and yeah, there is, but I, I don't want to be one of them teams that go up and not ready for it. Which would maybe, which, which maybe I think see, it, yeah, yeah, maybe see this season. Yeah, and I, I just think this, we wouldn't have been ready. We can sit in, but we'll get beat. Yeah, and we can get it up to you or race or whether it is up top. Yeah, but we need to get players around them quick. I think we need to be able to do it. both. And that's that's so it. We've got that we need to know when to sit or when to when to go. <laughs> and at the minute, we don't. We. We go whatever I'm selling it. We're either, we're either pressing or we're not, and we can't, we haven't got that in our reds yet. When to press, when to sit, without me shouting instruction. Yeah, and people might go, yeah, they're full of shit. But I just think, yeah, well, I think we, we we when we started this, there was a long term project, and I think we see a lot of teams where it's all about the short term goals, and yeah, you win, you get to a level, and you're doing really well, and then something happens, and it all collapses. I think. Obviously, committing to this place and other, and other things like that. But there is a long term vision here, and it goes well beyond my playing days. Yeah. So, we've we've got to try. How, how do you create futsal players? You can't. Do you know what I mean we've we've found it really tough, aren't we? It seems like the better footballer we get, the more. Well, where we? <laughs> I think the problem for us in Hull is not. A, a, people who know Hull, it's not a really like diverse city, is it? Like Birmingham and London, yeah, yeah. where you have all sorts of different nationalities there. You yeah. don't in all for some. I don't know why. We've got probably got a couple of areas where they are congregated, and but, it's, but we, we, there's no real. But it's majority of, just yeah. probably ninety percent white. Yeah. But footballers. Yeah, yeah. Who never even heard of futsal. Yeah. So converting them into futsal and trying to get them to don't play for dog or duck on a Sunday, yeah, but yeah. come and play for us. Yeah. It, it's tough. It's yeah. tough. So we're trying to convert players. We're trying to change how we play. But again, not, not taking that away from Liverpool. Liverpool come with a game plan, they're the sign, and there's dittles on the break. Yeah. Simple as that. And it, and it, it wasn't no genius game plan, it worked. Okay. And the beaters, I can't. I, that's all I can say, the beaters, yeah. because we weren't good enough to score when we had the chances. Yeah. Created loads. I think they would have seen that. They probably they probably had a. Cause they, well, they definitely did last season uh, conversations about me being as a pivot, and I started as backman. Yeah, 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 that was, and that's if we wanted to win the game, I'd, I'd probably have started as pivot. If, well, sorry, I rephrase that. If 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 our sole mission was to win that game, I'd have probably started at a pivot or do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'll come on for Reese, but we've we've tried to do something where I can start with the ball and move and end up there or or whatever. But it just well, didn't. Well, realize we need to move the ball. We need to move yeah. the ball better than we do and keep the ball better than we do. So. So, we've we've got like I've listened to Wardy saying about on his um what's what's the podcast yeah and he's saying and he's right these teams coming up it's no good coming up winning three or four games what's the point yeah because yeah. you just go straight back down again the levels out there so to me there's probably well only four teams now becky has gone which we'll get on to there's four teams so I'm putting Bolton in that now Bolton Loughborough Manchester um, Bloomsbury yeah all could do a bit. And I think everyone else is on catch up massively. I think Maidenhead Maiden might, might break that. Possibly. They look good. Uh, they've obviously recruited well. I think that's the only way if you can recruit well. Uh, sorry. That's the that's the only way I see it as. But they're only pinching players from another team, aren't they? Just, oh, yeah. You're only just nicking in from there and that. So it's the same bunch of players, but just rotated around the teams. Yeah. We need to get fresh blood in. Yeah. Fresh blood into this. Cause this is this is it. If we keep all these players we've got, even at Bloomsbury, they don't get any better. And as they they've seen, they need to yeah. get better. Yeah, yeah. So we we need to get better players into this league. How I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how we do it. 
we need footballers, don't we, of a decent standard? Probably conference level coming. Yeah. But the futsal purists won't be happy with that. But the futsal purists won't. But there's no futsal players out there, is there? But I think that's the problem. I think um, Bloomfrey have said they couldn't handle the physicality, could they? When they went yeah. to the Champions League, they couldn't yeah. handle it. Yeah, yeah. Because the, t- the teams they're playing against now are on round about. Who's physical? Who's a real strong physical? There's probably only Cookie who can handle himself. Well, there's. Uh, we. I was speaking to them about it, and it was on about the the, the referee a different like the refs out there are different bloody hell. <laughs> I, wish, you know I, mean? I wish I could play with them refs, but uh, yeah, it sounds it sounds like you can get away with basically it's, it's a really so tough. You can get into strong, a tussle and yeah, pull yeah, them if, if, if you six or one, yeah, 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 that sort of thing. Whereas yeah, it doesn't seem to be the well, same it, 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 sometimes it depends who's doing it. <laughs> uh. Yeah. So yeah, but no fair play to Liverpool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they come with a game plan, they stuck to it, it worked. Um, I'm disappointed from us, from our point of view, because we didn't, but they'll probably think they had loads more chances and they didn't finish either, so. Yeah. Yeah, it was one of them. Yeah. But, but first game of the season, yeah, I'm not. I'm not overly bothered. Yeah. If, 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 that's, if that's our level and yeah. that's our standard, we don't want to be going up. No, and that's we it. can't go yeah, up because yeah. we'd just get embarrassed in tier one, so. Yeah. I don't know how many teams in tier two, if I'm being honest, could actually make the jump to tier one right now. I'd probably say none. I don't think anyone's anywhere near. No. We might, we, we might. Where these Elvestia players going? If Kent can grab some, maybe Sporting South End, any of them. Don't know. I think but they're all going to move somewhere. Well, unless they all get. Unless they all can all get tier one. No, we'll, we'll, we'll get on to that. We'll get on to that. <laughs> okay, mate, so. Uh, obviously one of the big talking points we was hoping to get this quite early but we've had to leave it a while was the the rant and bants interview so I yeah. so I actually I knew something was kicking off and I woke up at 10 past 3 in the morning and I listened to all 1 hour 40 minutes, minutes of it uh, hoping it would send me to sleep because I listened to podcasts to fall asleep to uh, Especially for salsa, because that really does send me to sleep, especially with <laughs> all these Chris Tarrant impressions. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh, uh, but yeah, so I listened to it, I found it very intriguing. Uh, I think I spoke to you, I said, you need to watch it. Well, you don't, I, you don't no, watch all I, I, I don't, I, I watched, you sent me that one, and you sent, and you sent yeah. me the other one. I said, I, w- I listened to them both, um, and I didn't think I'd listen to it all, it was an hour and 40, but it was, it was quite interesting what he was saying. Um, but some of the stuff, some of the stuff, I think he's right. Other stuff, which we'll discuss now, I think is way off the mark. I'm not quite sure what he what he wants. Yeah. Um, but it. Well, it's yeah. I think what so. Uh, well, what was this rant about? Really, it's obviously so it, it was. I think it, it, it deep down his rant was about he couldn't do what he wanted to do. Yeah. He won't allow just to come in and just do do what he wants because he'll promote futsal and he'll do everything and just leave me to it. I, I, I'm yeah. untouchable, which yeah. it's it just ridiculous. It's just if he thinks that could ever happen, it's just ridiculous. Yeah. You won't get away with it in in our Noddy League, are you? So yeah, yeah. I don't know why you think you could get away with it in a, in a national league. Yeah, it just it just seems ridiculous that he's saying to Chris, "Just let me do what I want." He's more about his kit, won't he? He, he, he had so many sponsors on it. Yeah, yeah. And why 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 does that have to change? Yeah, yeah. Well, the FA's got standards. Yeah, yeah. So it's all about standards, and if you don't meet the standards. You're not in, but you all accept that before you join the league. You know about the standards. So what he wanted to do was just come in and change it. Well, I, I remember and when we so we had to we got interviewed, didn't we, by Chris? This is before we even knew him. So yeah. he interviewed us. We're sat there, and where it's a bit of a it's a bit of a weird feeling at the time because obviously we was tier three and we thought we was doing really well, but it, it got to a point where we was like, we up, we get in, and we need to get in. And one of the things was he said, right, we need to discuss your kit. Because we just launched our new kit, it had sponsors everywhere. Yeah. I basically copied off Yorks and Helvetius who had all these sponsors on. So I bought a brand new kit uh, and it had to change. But if we did, we wouldn't have got in tier two. So it was one of them, what do we do? It was like, well, we're going to have to take the hit and get a new kit. So, like you said, we all agreed to this to be a part of this league. So you can't really just do what you want. But you did, didn't you? And that was the problem. He did do what he wanted, and now he's racked up fans. Yeah. <laughs> and he's racked up a load of fans, and then moans about his fans. He's racked up. Yeah. 
It's like me not agreeing with the speed limits. I just go do what I want. <laughs> so, yeah. it, I, it's gonna bite me in the ass or it, and it got him. Yeah, yeah. And but like I said, he had some valid points. Yeah, he, he had some valid points. I thought about like the social media sort of side of it. Yeah. Um, and Chris might be first to admit. I don't know. I'm not really spoken about it, but it probably needs help with the social media. It can't do everything. So it'd be great if we could have all them goal highlights, like he's saying. If we could, that's his goal highlights of the week and all that sort of stuff. But I'm sure someone could help him. If someone, not not me, they're not tech savvy like, but <laughs> but I'm sure there's somebody out there who could step up and help him. Probably he could have done. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, well, it, it, social media was a big thing he spoke about, wasn't it? And that's because, obviously, he, he is a self-proclaimed expert in the field, which, yeah, but, if you look at his views on YouTube, then, yeah. Yeah, but he's really good on his own YouTube channel. Well, well I think that's the point I'm coming to. So, what... I think when he first launched it, we'd just done our courts there. And when I saw his, I was like, right, he's took this to another level. So the, you could see the videography and, and the the music and it changed the logo. And I thought, wow, this is going to be, this is going to turn him into something. But it was still under the rants and bants yeah. sort of thing. So I don't, really, I don't think I see anything on Twitter from Helvesh yet. Don't, don't, definitely don't see anything on Facebook. Might put some stuff on Instagram when it's promoting the video. But I think the, I think if you look at it, it, it's all to promote him. I think it all goes back to his YouTube well, channel. I, I never saw thing. I'm not a big guy. Obviously, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm 40. I don't yeah. know what YouTube. Yeah. My kids are all into it, but I don't really watch YouTube. Yeah, I don't yeah. get it. So I never saw any of his stuff. Yeah. Because why would I? But if it's on Twitter or he's yeah, advertising yeah. on there or he's got it all over social media. Yeah. Well, just having one platform, it, it well, I think it, he, he obviously that's his income. He, he said that, didn't he? That's that's what we yeah. had his living. So the hell of issue was all earning money for him. So all, all them videos, it was all going money for him. And then you've got Elvesh saying the cat afford to run till the end of the season and things like that. So, yeah, hmm. if nah. do you know what I mean? I don't know what, what could he have done on social media for hell you never mind the league. I think you've got to look at it, it's tough in it because we run leagues and. Obviously, I run the, the National Futsal League. It's not my job to promote clubs. I think one of the things he said about it, they don't do anything to help you find venues. The Premier League don't find training facilities no. or for, for Everton. or no, absolutely it, not. That's down to the clubs. And I think it goes back to standards of clubs. I think it, it's... I still, I still put the onus on the clubs. I don't I don't blame the NFL, NFS, the FA. I think the onus is still on the clubs. So, so Liverpool, for example, would talk about standards... So we turn up first game of the season away to Liverpool and we're told it's on a tier one standard court. So I'm going, oh, OK, it's got seating. Oh, OK. Turn up, first thing, massive hump in the pitch. Yeah. Which no one told us about. We had to find that. Well, well, you say no one told us. We didn't know because there was a table tennis table. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was playing tennis. Yeah. It was playing tennis, table, t- t- table tennis on, on, on the court whilst Liverpool were warming up in the other half so we couldn't get on. But, so that's 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 the standard of the court. It's got a big hump in it, which I think, I think, obviously. I think they're looking into it now. Someone in the league's yeah, going yeah. to see. But we showed the ref and stuff, didn't we? And he, he said it was fine to play, so maybe it is. I don't know. We'll, we'll soon see. But, uh, the the other thing is we didn't get any changing rooms. Yeah, that that stunk that. I've got We're a tier two. <coughs> that pissed me off that massive. Two clubs fighting to get to tier one and we turn up and we go, Where's the changing rooms? Oh, we'll sort it. Okay. One person goes, comes back. Uh oh, I don't know, don't, don't know what's going on. Ask another person. He goes off, comes back. Oh, we're sharing. I'm sharing, sharing changing rooms. Okay. So we're waiting until we can't do anything because there's table tennis going on. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so they all come out the changing room at what time's kick off? 20 past three? 20 past, past three. 20 past three. So they all come out the changing rooms at three o'clock. I walk in to uh, have a look to see where we can get changed and all their gears out. The refs are in there. So the refs obviously didn't get a changing room as well. No. And then, so I'm, I have to tell our lads we have to get changed out by the car. Side of the car. Well, at that point, I went because our physio asked him. Yeah. No, because he come back chuntering. We got that early, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He come back chuntering. There's no changing rooms, lads. I've asked reception. There's no changing room for us. Yeah. And I think Ronnie overheard that. Had a word with our physio, not us. Yeah. Tried sort. Well, he, he said he sorted to come back. You have to share. Yeah. 
Uh, uh, you went, I went across to ask uh, their assistant. Yeah. He went off to ask for a changing room. Yeah. Come back, never got back to us. Yeah. At that point, we're getting changed behind the stand. Yeah, yeah. And then at half time, I think you kicked off again. Well, I, I, regardless of the game, I was just, I was, I think my head went before the game a bit. Because, man, man, I was trying to keep a lid on it. And, it got, and I think it was just, again, we talk about standards. There's not much that. Like, if we go on about anything, I say it all the time, I've turned to Buddy Mick Parish, but uh, it's the standards. We all moan about wanting the, to promote the game and it to be better. But what level do you turn up when you don't get a changing room? Somebody leaves on the park, football. we that, get changed in the car. Yeah, I don't expect a changing room. So how can I there? attract players, a, a player at high level or anything like that, to come play for us and you don't get a changing room? So, like, so Rance can he, he can learn about all standards, but it's down to the clubs. And if Liverpool get promoted this season, then that's the sort of standards they set. But for me, if that if that happened to me, I, I think to be fair to Liverpool, they've said it was our first time there and stuff, and we, there's there's problems and stuff like that, uh, which is fair enough. But my standard as a club would have been I would be embarrassed, and I would have gone. Tell you what, lads, you have our changing rooms. You get changed. We'll get changed wherever, or at least. Lads, you've got five minutes to get changed. Get all your stuff out because they need our changing rooms. Done. The yeah. way team. Do you know what I mean? We've travelled all that way. So I, I, so you can you can moan about a lot, but I think I don't. This is just one rant. This is just our last game. There's all last season we can moan about and the season before. I don't. I don't. How much do these clubs really want it? To, want to promote the sport in a terms where, yes, we we all we all say it's amateur when it, it comes to travel. But we all want professional and BT sport, and we're more than might not be BT on the other hand. So it's everyone wants everyone wants the best of both worlds, but no one wants to try and make the effort to, to bridge that gap between grassroots and professional. The dog, mate. But I'm not having I'm not having any excuses for Liverpool. When we got when we got vetted for tier two, we had people down measuring our court and said you have to have four. And it says in the rules yeah. when you look, you have to have four changing rooms. Yeah, yeah. You have to have four changing rooms, a separate one for the referee. You know, when you've gone to that venue, you must have gone, well, they've only got a male, and they've got a female, but no one's allowed to use because they're still in the gym, but we got it given at half time, I think, because the, there was no one left in. Well, yeah, we actually got a change of room at the end of the ha at at half time. time. So yeah. we could get a shower, we could get a shower, but it's. it's, it's yeah, but we have to kick off, you have to kick off again at half time for that, while we're trying to have a team talk outside, and we're still having this debate about, can we have a change of room? Well, it's not even that, so obviously. We're getting warmed up late, preparation for a game, and then there's nowhere to have a team talk. It's boiling in there. It's a red hot day. We have to go outside for our team talk, and then I've got the ref pressuring us in. And I've said, ref, we haven't, we haven't even had a change room. We said, take as long as you want. And oh yeah. He comes out when he's blowing his whistle. When yeah, he's going, when he's getting going, it's like it was just crap preparation. That's no excuse in the game, but it's well, it, it might have played an effect. It might have made an effect to the game. Nah, but it's, it's it's just shit. It's, it's just shit. shit hospitality. Yeah. It's shit, yeah. And, I, I, and it, Ronnie should know better after running a league, he won a league he two or three been. years ago. So he knows all about well, that. Well, that was our first experience of National Futsal League. And it was Ronnie's league that said, uh, you have to welcome your opponents when they come. You have to direct to your change your rooms. You have yeah. to buy the referees food. Uh, well, the hospitality, the first, the first words I got on Liverpool when I got there is, um, I think it's his assistant coach. Yeah. He starts questioning me. I went across for his team sheet. Yeah. And he starts questioning me about... Why did you put our number 10 on that in your YouTube last year swearing? I'm like, what? When was that? I don't even know when that came from. When was it? <laughs> uh, like, uh, it was part of the game. I don't know why. And he's going, well, you shouldn't have put it on. It. It's bad for the game. I went, it was part of the game. That's why we put it on. It meant, that it meant him coming towards the cameraman because he was getting pissed off. It was part of the game, so it meant it. Well, I don't think you should. I think you should be just promoting futsal. Well, we were promoting futsal with that video. Um, well, that's the but thing. But... Why? What are you doing to promote futsal? <laughs> yeah. We we've gone to all that effort to produce that yeah, video, yeah. and you didn't like it that your number ten was on there swearing. I swear every week on it. Yeah, yeah. So what? Yeah, yeah. It's part of the game, and it just is what it is. Um, yeah, but, but that was our that was that, one of our biggest view of videos. That which at the minute they're all on all because. The NFS have put rules in where. You well, now we can't. I don't know why, but, it, it, but again, it's standards. We have to. We have to. But it is, and now it's maybe to do with Rance as, as doing his videos, and maybe because of our videos and people complaining that we're doing videos next Police, to court. Police and his his content, wasn't it? That was another thing he said. Oh well, yeah. And his content. It it was just, but that was our first interaction with them when we got there. That 
Yeah. It's just like, oh, come on. Um, yeah. But again, we don't want to get down that road, but we can all we can all do it. We, we could have people come in here and just shut changing rooms and kill people and yeah. make it hard for them, have 10 o'clock kickoffs yeah, yeah. when they're coming from all over the country. We can all be dicks, but yeah, what's why? That, what's that doing? I have, to, I have to put a lot of thought and effort into being a dick. <laughs> but some of these things, but it just comes, I don't know if it comes natural or they just do it to, 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 to wind us up, I don't know. Yeah. But mm, it just they, they need to be careful because when they come, it, we've got them to play again, so. Yeah, yeah. It, we can all we can all be horrible and lock people out of bloody buildings and whatever. Table, 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 I don't know if his finger was broken or at times when they were winning or I'm not quite sure what he was doing but the clock didn't quite work properly I don't think which we which we pointed out quite a few times but I don't want to go on about it like I said the biggest fair and square but the best thing about the game <laughs> they made me laugh this the score I think they went 7 6 I don't know what it's 7, seven five, 5 or 7 yeah. whatever yeah. it was and you know let's from his table <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And he must have shouted F off to us all for yeah. after our, about three or four times. Yeah. And he's like, are you for real, mate? You're the timekeeper. You're on the referee, so you're one of the referees. And that's how you behave. You'll think that's all right to behave. And when we point it out, you just get, well, that's all you do. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you now. <laughs> I'll tell you now. If our timekeeper ever jumped up off the table and started swearing at the opposition, They'd never ever be the soundkeeper again, and I'd be absolutely devastated. Yeah. But, and I don't think I've ever run across to their sideline either and shouted, started shouting that sort of stuff. Yeah, I yeah. do shout stuff from my little technical area. Yeah, yeah. But never, I don't think. Yeah. I don't. I, I don't know. Maybe I do. I swear I know I do, but I don't take it to that level. No. Because I think that was just. Well, I mentioned this. I mentioned this to Chris. I, I don't know what the answer is, but I saw it last season. Uh, and I shout, I don't think it was on the video, but I shouted out against Derby. Uh, the the ball was in play, so we we play against Derby. They're gone fly, and the ball was in play. They're moving the ball, and the clocks not going. Yeah. The clock stopped. So I'm shouting, I'm shouting, I'm playing, and I'm shouting to the ref. The clock's not going. The clock's not going because it's club timekeepers and the home team. So it's like you get a home advantage if you're timekeeper yeah, because yeah. you can either speed the game up or slow it down. But I don't know what the answer is because there isn't enough well, refs I, and there isn't I, enough. I think the two refs, one of them just every now and again, if you've got obviously this guy on this side can't see it, well, he might be able to see the clock, depending on where it is. But the other what the other ref needs to just watch the clock, just keep his eye on the clock every now and again, just look up, is the clock working, are they doing it right, and just check yeah. them. Well, we did mention it against Liverpool oh, three man. times, we mentioned it first. Well, I have to keep, the, the worst thing is, all our players are seeing it and they're all jumping up behind me, yeah, yeah. screaming at me, but it won't the right. It, it won't right. I could tell the ref won't having. I don't know. Yeah. He won't having none of it. Well, I asked, I asked the ref at the end of the game. What, so I, I didn't. I didn't criticise what he'd done. I asked him what the procedure was, and he said the procedure is if if the clock isn't being done properly, the person viewing it, uh, the person opposite side of the scoreboard should be keeping an eye on it. So, I, and I asked him why he wasn't, and he said, yeah, maybe we could have been a bit better with that but we'd highlighted it at first half and second half what, twice half. <laughs> at least twice I had to go all the way across into nearly their technical area just to have a way to rest just to say look ref I, I know you can't see it but just so you know that that clock but I don't know what it's I think it's tier, tier one they've got it now as well with it going home and away I don't I don't know what the answer is for that but well, the answer it's, it's is hard, it's hard to use the word cheating, but they've got, have a, they've you've got, got an advantage. You've got to have a proper qualified guy on the time clock, as far as I was aware. I don't, yeah, I don't in the rules, well, I don't know if that. I don't think the Liverpool guy was. Then maybe that's why he was so off it because he's not qualified. But maybe that's why he ran over top bench telling us to fuck off because <laughs> because he's not qualified. I don't know. But what, right, so what have happened in that situation there? So he's jumping up, shouting "f off" to us. One of us stands up and banjos him. Yeah. Which I, do you know? I just think do you know what. In that heat of the game, it might. But you've just banned your referee. Yeah, yeah. So that what's that? An hundred eighty-two instant ban. <laughs> and then if you get proved, it yeah, goes yeah. on and on. So you could get like a two-five-year ban for yeah, that. Yeah. For him acting like that. Yeah. 
Yeah. It, well, that's it. So yeah. So we've but, gone off. We've gone off a bit. We went off a, a tangent, but just but back it, to that. standards. It's standards. I think it, one standards. of the other things Rand said was about uh, tier three. Obviously, I'm heavily involved in tier three. He mentioned a few things. I think there was a. I didn't know about a lot of the stuff that's gone on, but there was a couple of things he said. I thought, well, I know that's not true. So if I know that's not true, what else is not true? Well, I think one of the things he said, he hadn't had match, they hadn't had the balls yet for the for the start of the season. I knew they had because I was at the thing on. You the, saw him with the balls. They yeah. want him. I saw, oh, the, the, I saw Helvetia with the match ball. Yeah. We all got given the match ball, so I knew they had there. He also mentioned about a tier three and stuff like that. It was so easy, and it was in a what you just swap at your mate. The opposite team and said kick off three o'clock. And then uh, they got three referee. Uh, the referees were free. They didn't pay for refs. We did pay for refs at tier three. Uh, so the season we played, when he said he won it, when he had, <laughs> yeah, he also said he won tier three. He never won it. He won his league, and then he, he got beat his... to us in the semi-finals of the yeah, playoff. He beat to us. What is it? Oh, did he got to give a team? Lost to. Who did they lose to? They must be in Reading then. If he won his league, he might have. Oh, well, what's his team I can't called? Think. Uh, GB Aranji. We beat him in the semis for no, we, we, we beat Galante. There's another team that have just gone off the face of the earth. Uh, Galante. Can we beat Galante? Yeah, yeah, we beat Galante. So it must be Reading then. If he won his league, Reading beat him and then oh, we, right. we've done Reading in the final. Yeah. No, the, the, if they've got beat, oh, I think. Because it was like quarter final. If you remember, oh, we, yeah, no, it was it went, quarter final. It, it, it went out early, didn't it? Yeah, it, it went, went out next round. It was something like Bristol or. Yeah, yeah, it did. No, you're right. It did go out early. Well, they lost it. I don't know if it was Bristol and then. I can't think what happened, but yeah, it was. Uh, but yeah, they got they got they got found out pretty quick um, in that. But yeah, they did. So they didn't win tier three. They did have the match balls, and they, they did have to pay for refs. Unless this is this is another thing. Unless it didn't pay for refs. <laughs> this is why. <laughs> but, yeah, but the league. Do you know what I mean This is why when I took over tier three, we had zero in the bank, and like I say, the person that was going to take it advised it to go bankrupt and just go. Because it had no money and no income, and people hadn't paid the fans. Fortunately, we're at a level now where we can say we're, we're more than comfortable, and we look like we've got a bright future. So, yes, the stuff like he was on about, you got your, your balls. Yeah, we might be able to get them back. But this year, next year, but again, it's, it's, it's small fry, isn't it when you saying you get balls and bibs. <laughs> well, what about if I'm relying on the league giving me balls and bibs to play futsal? Yeah, yeah. Then I need to wrap up now. Yeah, yeah. Because. Yeah. I've got balls and we've got balls all over the shop. We've yeah. got bibs all over the place. Well, we've got I don't need five hundred in here. Out. <laughs> I've got eight balls and bibs. Yeah, yeah. It's great for giving for free. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not being ungrateful. It's, it, when they give us them, it's fantastic. They're giving you some some back. It's great if you can put towards money towards rest, like the, I think yeah, they yeah. are now under you. Yeah. It's brilliant. If we could only, I think they only pay £60, sixty sixty pound a month. Sixty five. Like sixty five pound a month. If we could pay that, I'd be loving it. <laughs> but uh, again, it, it. So I, I don't know. I, I'm. I think, like I said, some of the stuff he said's got merit, and I'll, uh, some of the other stuff. Just, like he said, he tried setting up a meeting with Chris. I think that he did try setting up a meeting with Chris, and Chris couldn't make the meeting. Yeah. But, but then to speak out and say, "Well, I had a guy who had millions and billions to invest, and you'll never have to pay for futsal again." Yada yada. Where, where's this guy gone? Yeah, yeah. Well, invest if you want to invest. I'm sure you would have one. You'd see it. I'm sure you would answer your phone one. If you want to invest yeah, in yeah. tier three. Um, and what, like I say, if you did that, it'd be brilliant. If if I want to, yeah, I think free. we could all say we had investors after. Oh well, I had one, but yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I dialed Chris's number wrong. It just, it, but yeah, he's I'm obviously not... he's obviously the reason he gets so many views is because he's very opinionated. He's very good at what he does. Oh, yeah. So, and I know he, he I've seen some of it. I don't really take interest in the non futsal stuff he does. Uh, he does a lot on Arsenal and and, and Premier League stuff. But he the the way he captions it all it's it's to, it's to spark controversy it's to, to spark oh, yeah. controversy it's very, yeah, yeah. and you can see he's very very good at what he does what has he done for futsal I don't know it's uh, well did it improve uh, how long was he 10 months he said yeah yeah did it get any better maybe he's or did uh, it get worse and well I, we've I, lost the club haven't we so it's got worse because you've lost the club yeah. I was in debt yeah I'm not quite sure. Again, we've run we've run this for a few years now. I'm not sure how you get in, in that much debt that you have to quit. What what yeah, yeah. what money? We don't know the true. We don't know because you could. To me, the only things you've got to pay for is, is your venue. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. Your refs. Venue, your refs. Well, the refs you can't get behind. You've got to pay them weekly, aren't you? So you can't get behind on them. 
Well, you, you support Spain Week. We support. <laughs> <laughs> no, some clubs out there, but yeah. So there's probably the venue when you're training. Yeah, yeah. And that's it. But last year there was one, one of the more central venues than out else. Yeah. So I'm not sure where you, where are we. But get... obviously, I think how this year it's widely known the pay players. So I don't know if there's any players out there that haven't been paid. I don't know if that has any factor on it. Uh, but but the players uh, have to watch out what? because if the club's gone and they owe money. But I'm, which, sure, I'm sure they could enforce it where the players can't play. So that's just, that, I've that, just that, had that, that at tier three. That I've debt's had, paid back. I've had that at tier three. Club folded at tier three, and all their players, or the majority of their players, went to go sign for a tier two team. There's there's rule there's regulations yeah. in there uh, that that was in for football to to ensure that doesn't happen. So clubs can't run up a load of debt, fold, start up a new team, all play sound for these. It it's in there now, so it, the debt goes on to the players. Absolutely. I, I think that's up to the up to the league whether they decide to do that. I know the players have put a statement out there. I, was, I saw that statement. Did you did you read the statement? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. What was your thoughts on that? Not a lot, really. I, I think the big thing for me, I think Cookie mentioned something like, where was this statement last week or something? I think if you're a player, if you're, if you're a player and you know a club like that is about to go, say if we've been going 20 years and we've won everything that there, I'd like to think if, for whatever reason, I was no longer running it and come fund it, if the players felt so saddened upset about it that they would have come together and tried to get through the season themselves I don't know how much they'd have, they'd have to pay for refs they might have to do what Sheffield are doing and not train they might have to do you know what I mean yeah. whatever, whatever, wherever you have to cut your money to keep going then you do it but, but I don't know what the players have done to try and save no, it but whose debt was it I don't, that's, I don't what know. I wanted, that's what it'd be nice if the club come out and said look we've got five grand of debt because of yeah. we've got that many fans yeah because of these actions, yeah. so we can't afford to pay him now. Yeah, yeah. So he's bankrupt the club, and the players aren't willing to pay it. Yeah. But whose debt was it? Yeah, yeah. Who got all the fans? Is it the players getting the fans? Was it Rance getting the fans? Was it the club getting the fans? Well, I'm not some, sure yeah. who was getting the fans. So someone, if he's walked away with, with fans there, it's not great. Or if the players have walked away, then it's them owing money again. Not great. It's left the sport. In yeah, a, in a I think way. the big thing to take up, take of it is we mentioned this maybe one of the first videos we said about building clubs not teams Yeah, and we highlighted Helvetia as one where really 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 high level team but what, where's the foundation behind it we all it takes is one person Rance if Rance funding it to decide not to fund it and the club's gone Whereas us, we've got 250 kids funding our club. Yeah. If we lose 50 kids, we've still got 200 kids paying. And that's, again, so there's obviously, other, we go down sponsorship rules, we go down funding, we'll go down any route we can to help with the funding of it. But essentially, if you're relying on one person, you're very vulnerable. And we need more, we need more clubs, not teams. That's, that's right. what we need. And I think looking at it, they put a lot of effort into the YouTube stuff. When youth, when we took, did this, we did youth stuff first. Yeah, we yeah. got the youth stuff going, and yeah, it was yeah. got got it all up and running. Then we started the men's, yeah. and then it, it's grown from there. And we've, then we've got yeah. the, the kids going more. We don't the men don't contribute to anything to the club now. No. So that's how we want it. Yeah, yeah. It's the only way we can attract players. Yeah. We can't ask players to come in and say. Oh, by the way, it's 30 quid a, week, uh, a month for subs. Yeah, yeah. No chance. Yeah. And then pay your own pet run and all that sort of stuff. It just don't work. We'd, we'd, love, to get an op we'd love to get in a position where we can pay players. Yeah. We'd, if, 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 that's, if we can pay people's mileage or whatever it is, we can pay people's expenses, sorry, to come from Leeds, Sunderland, wherever. Uh, do you know what I mean? And, and, and bring them in. Yeah. Like, like uh, yeah, then obviously we would, but not quite in that position yet if we've got our own venue outside on this four courts thing and did all that you're soon in a position where you can but mm, I don't it, know maybe, maybe that's how we improve the, improve the what, levels what was disappointing though for me is when they put the it to a box I think the players have come back haven't they and said they want to carry on the players said they want to carry they on, carry yeah. on they, found, it, they found a new funder and it, and it went to a vote didn't it yeah uh, from the league and, and obviously the teams it must have been at least five teams said 
we don't want you back. Yeah. Which is massively disappointing for me. So to me, it, again, people aren't thinking about futsal. They're thinking about, hang on a minute. If we've got rid of one, if we've got rid of them, that means only one team's going to get relegated now instead of two. Well, there is that. So I, maybe they've looked at it slightly. Maybe not. Some, maybe some have. Maybe some thought. But why wouldn't you want them in the league? They're a decent team. They've got the, the they're, biggest, they're, the they're biggest they're, name in, in England still. Well, I don't know if they would have carried on. As I don't I saw some about it. <laughs> someone, someone sent me a picture. Apparently, they said there. This is probably confidential, but I stuff it. Uh, they said they said something about the social media is like Bloomsbury. So they sent me a screenshot of Bloomsbury's social media, the number of followers. Uh, you can see that the, you can see there's no expense spared in how Bloomsbury do it. Not just the futsal, but the football side. Uh, that's what you think. No, it really only lasts for thirty minutes, so I have to keep an eye on it. That's why I'm, if you see me looking at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then they sent this one of this new club and he's got like a Freddy the Fox <laughs> you know, he's almost like he's almost on pain he's got like 700 what followers what Mr Futsal was it? no he might have been uh, but Joe, you know, it's just like it's 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 no one so maybe maybe the clubs have gone it's just another it's just someone it's another chancer it's another someone thinking they can make something out of nothing when it do you know what it actually takes hard work I don't know anything about these this, these red foxes or whatever they're called I know. But, I- it's, to me, you know, I think maybe I've the clubs given, have just gone. You've had enough chances to sort this, and you are not I don't. I don't know. I don't, I'm smelling a rat, mate. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> not about it, but I think it's been tactical voting. And you're thinking, do you know what? <laughs> well, I don't know if you can see this on social media. Well, no, but I know what you're going to say because I had a phone call today saying uh, I've read Dave's response. And I went, I don't know what he's put because I can't see it. Uh, yeah, go on. You, t- you, you said, I, I, I don't know basically, what you're Basically, basically. I thought you responded to some iPod. No, no, no it's, it's on. It, it, it's Pete Sharples and, yeah. and Rob Brassett. Oh my god, I've. Pete Sharples, the crappy. It just spouts shit all the time on there. I'm constantly hammering. Everything in the world is, is Dell's fault. The, the leaks have fell apart because it's Dell. Rob Brassett can't run his leagues because he's Dell. Everything's wrong because it's Dell. Unless you're gone. Del Del that? That, yeah, yeah, I did, yeah, that yeah. was Dell's fault as well because he didn't support the Brazil game. <laughs> and so that's gone. So that Brazil game has single handedly crushed the, the, one of the biggest teams in England. Yeah, because Dell didn't go. His, but his it, 10 quid it, but he posts it all via that um, uh, futsal, Rob Brassett's Futsal TV. Yeah, and I can't see that. You can't see it you're, you're banned from the channel, I think. But it, it, you can't just post on that. You've got to be. It, vet, it, it vets the, it vets, it, it vets yeah. all the answers, so it can have a, It goes off for pending when I write something. Depends if it's F, it's, if it's uh, FA bashing approved or not. Yeah, and if you're bashing <laughs> the FA, it's all over it. You're on instantly. But if, if you're bashing that, <laughs> yeah. which he did have to prize, he actually let some of my stuff go. Yeah, yeah. But I, I've had enough of just, just it's crappy, right? I, I've said it on the, I've said it on the, um, on his Facebook page. Look, the FA are perfect. Yeah. But I look at the FA and think, what do the FA do for us, Dan? No. The sanction the league is as far as the sanction yeah. league. I don't have any dealings with them because we don't. I don't know why I would want to deal in with them. I don't need them. Well, I run. I obviously run tier three, and the only dealing I have is to sanction the league at the start of the season. That is literally the only time I ever have to contact the FA. There's no. There's no dialogue or conversation in regards to anything else. I have multiple conversations weekly with Chris because we're leagues and we're trying to yeah. trying to work together trying but to grow the, the FA, sport yeah but the FA, the FA that, that's what the FA do I don't I don't, I don't, I don't know why he keeps hammering Dell he doesn't do this he doesn't do that there's no money you're keeping all the TV money well I, I don't bother where the TV money goes I probably the TV money goes towards the central venues and all the cost of the thousands they must rack up every year yeah. by hosting the central events, sort of. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where they think they get the money from for these. It must cost them a thousand pound a day. Uh, you know, it probably just more. For, just for the venue. And then it's male <laughs> and female. Yeah, yeah. And then the referees and everything else, all the all the other expenses yeah, yeah. that go with it. And they've got God knows how many of them. So uh, he don't get paid himself. He'll, he, he'll show you his accounts, I'm sure, if you asked him. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm not quite sure why Sharples constantly hammers and just goes on about how how the 
it's not got any better no. since the FA took over. But when you look back, let's go back to when they run the league. <laughs> so the only thing that I've had with Sharples and Rob Brassett running the league was when we first start. Oh, well, it'd have been the second year, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah second the year. The first year we started, it, it went out. It, it's out of the COVID year. It yeah. cut off halfway through. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we, we, we only played about six or seven games and we lost. Yeah. We should have won that league, but we lost that league on a technicality, didn't we? Yeah, because Liverpool won travel to us. <laughs> Liverpool, if Liverpool had come and played us and we beat them, we'd have won the league. And but Liverpool were at bottom at that point. Yeah. Was, I think it was the, de- was it the development team. I think, I think so. Know, but okay. because they won't play us, we was a game behind. And, yeah, yeah. And then they put it to a vote and it should have gone ahead. <laughs> Anyhow, that's, I'm, just bit, I'm bitter we didn't win that one. <laughs> but Carl Allen ended up winning that. And we yeah. beat Carl Allen in the league. Yeah, yeah. But he won't allow it on there to head. Anyhow, so the people running that league then was what? Rob Brassett, yeah. uh, Ronnie. Yeah. Pete Sharpel. So yeah. the next year without full season in charge. Yeah. Um and this is the only thing that I've pretty had much had with Sharples. We went to Poulton. Yeah. When when Poulton well they were just they were just Poulton. <laughs> and we sat down and did the team sheet. Going through the team sheet and it just la- named a lot of ringers. It got people on the pitch who we knew, and they just wrote the names down. So it, it was like Sunday League all over again. It just wrote a load of ringers. We we got the refs off it, told the refs. The refs weren't really that bothered, yeah. which I, I'm sure when I'm refing, I'm not reporting in the game. I'm not bothered. I'm not not for me to say who's who. Um, and I was it their manager who come across. It was their manager. Yeah. Their manager come across, and his response to us was, "Well, you can have a play or go." <laughs> All oh, right, so yeah, 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 I'm playing ringers, yeah. So it's up to you. We can have a play or clear off. Nice one. Pete Sharples was chairman of that club then, wasn't he? He, he was. He was. He was chairman of the club. I know his lad definitely played for him. Yeah, but he was there in attendance. It, he was there in attendance watching this happen. Yeah. And that's someone who was on the board. Yeah. And then what happened when they come to us? Oh, they didn't come, did they? No. no. He won't travel. Stop travelling after that. Yeah. He, he's only going to play games in the northwest. Yeah, yeah. So he's chairman of that club. He was involved in the league. His lad's involved in that. Uh, was he chairman of the club? I might have got that wrong. He might not have been chairman of that club. He was invo- his lad was involved in that team. Yeah. Yeah, he let it all slide. And then what happened was, yeah, well, they don't have to travel. Yeah. They can just play in the North West. Just give the points away. You don't have to go all the way over there and get a hammer in. Yeah. <coughs> Is that how Sheffield beat 41 now? 41 1. Just to something. beat Poulton. Yeah, it was. Yeah, was it Poulton? Yeah. 40, <laughs> yeah. 41 so goals. We beat, yeah, we beat Chester and I think they're back at Poulton, didn't we? So yeah, and then and then there was Rob Rob getting on to Rob Brassett. So then he tried fiddling in the what stage of the cup? So that? yeah, so what he'd done is so basically to get in the playoffs, you had to have players that had played a certain amount of games. I think it was five games to be eligible for the playoffs. Uh, so he had named, I think, Claudio Ribeiro and Ivan Joe in playing in games. Uh, when at the same time them games had been played, they was live on BT Sport. Hmm. But he'd named them to be eligible. So he basically right. tried cheating the system. He thought no one would notice. He was the only one that access, had access to full time. And he basically <clears throat> tried to cheat his way to get Ivan Joe in, his, in, in the playoffs. How did that end up? He got kicked. Well, he got kicked out. He tried tonight. Went to the end. Got peeled. Uh, yeah, he he was uh, he was found out. And he's yeah. And this is why this is why he says I kicked him out. No, I didn't kick you out. You did this to yourself. Well, no, uh, no one wanted uh, I was was the I heard, I heard the conversations. Yeah. So so when Ronnie got voted, uh, not Ronnie. Um, Rob got voted. He, he just got voted out, and yeah, you yeah. had a new committee voted in. You yeah. was voted in. Uh, and they've got a new committee on. He said, I think you actually let him say, do you know what, you've got a bit of knowledge, I'll let, I'll let you be like me advisor sort of thing, if I need anything I can ask you. And then quickly after that... I think that was just me being nice. It I, was. I, I just said to him, look Rob, it won't look great on me for someone that has tried to cheat last season, you're involved in the league, to to, to, to stay on the committee. We, I, we, the, the, the team wasn't me at the time, but the, the NFL lost clubs based on the back of that. Yeah. Knowing that he was fiddling. You, do you know what I mean? The last thing we want is to play a team when someone on the committee is fiddling things so they get an advantage. So I, I our courtesy said, look Rob, I, I want you to help me. So can you help me get through this period because I have not got a clue what's going on. I'm openly honest. I'm new to this. But if I can help in any way, 
then I will. And he was fine with that. But his full scheme was to try and get back on the committee. And then I said, yeah. Rob, it's not happening. I was up honest from from the start. It's not happening. That's when he turned against me. And this is why all this crap is happening now. Yeah. Because he's not on the ball. Well, got, it, it's, it's a constant. Yeah. It's a constant hammering. How, how, how was it improved? What's got, how has it got any better from when we did it? Well, why, what was good when you did it? Yeah. And, and then he says, well, when the league was in operation, when he did it, he had people videoing it. He got free referees. Um, you got three match balls. Brilliant, mate. Yeah. And then when you took over the season after him, who, who was the guy from Manchester? Chris Berrigan. So he was he was coming on as was he a accountant or? No, he was coming on as the chair. Oh, he was the chair. Yeah, that's right. He was a chair. He was going to run. And he quit after about a, 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 week? a week and said, the, 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 "There's no money. The money's all gone. Money's all gone. So it's all great gone? giving out everything, uh, all the recordings. Yeah, we can do that. Oh yeah, well, well yeah, it's, it's, uh, we're getting everything videoed. You get free match balls. Oh, we're, we're bankrupt. Yeah. He didn't have enough money. Well, that's another thing. We're still owed by Sharples from his mate uh, in Spain a trip to Spain for winning tier three. We were supposed to play. Absolutely, team in Spain. absolutely. We was, where's that? We, where's the money for that? We was promised <laughs> uh, um, we'd play the champions. The LNF. I had to sit through that meeting for about two hours <laughs> listening to them. Lot hammer the FA, and then to, and then for my question to say, why? What the LNFs going to give us that the FA car? Yeah. Oh, oh, well. Yeah, yeah. This, that, and the other. Well, what did the LNFS actually give us? Well, match balls. Yeah, they bankrupt the league. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. wow. So it got, we got so many match balls off them, so many bibs, yeah. and, some, and, and a ref. And my trip to Spain, that up in smoke. Yeah, yeah. So I'm still waiting for that. I don't know where the money is, whether the money's gone. Um, but we still I mean, want it. spent it on all his, uh, uh, all his uh, advertising boards for the his, uh, National Futsal Alliance. That was yeah, that's all said it did in the Arts and Crafts Centre. But <laughs> uh, yeah, so it must have spent the full budget on that. I, 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 I don't know where the money went. I'd love to know where all the money went. Um, but then all the same, now is to say, yeah, but the money you're getting in's on you off off the clubs. Yeah, well, where did they get all theirs from? Was it just handed out, given to them? So they got it given by the FA and then bombed it. Well, the way, I've, the way I've approached this with the money is, look, everyone's paying an entry fee at the start of the season, last season, and that is to get the league back in a position where we've got some money in the account. So all the money's gone back into that. Uh, we've paid for all our refs and we've got some excess money. Same with this season. So again, pay your entry fee goes into that. At Christmas, I'm looking at, right, Can some? will we have some excess funds by the end of the season and can we get some balls to clubs? So each club has got at least a fee for approved match ball to play with. And then, next season, everyone's money, I'm hoping, if we've got excess money in the bank, everyone's money that's paying in, it comes back to them. So if they're paying 250 quid, they get 250 quid's worth of stuff. So they get balls, bibs, net hangers for advertising, to try and improve the standards. Yeah. That's, but it, it's the club's money, you're right. It, that, it's the club's money, but it's going back to them. But that's, I think where they want it, they want it a professional sport where the FA funds us, and I think that's why they get a Dell. It's handouts, yeah. That, that Dell's not going, yeah, Lee, he gets 20 million for you yeah, to, yeah. to lash up on whatever you want yeah. to give him a few match balls and get. No. Yeah. Again, it's just, I don't, I don't, I don't need that. Yeah, yeah. I don't need it. I've got it all out. We've got it all ourselves. We've, sort, we've sorted all our finances out. Yeah. So I, I could say, if they want to help, just by helping, have a do your futsal alliance, do it. And get a league, you can get it sanctioned. I don't know why they keep saying they can't get a league sanctioned. Yeah. But get it sanctioned, yeah. get all your teams to join, yeah. and do it. Well, there's enough team that have left tier three because of Brasset. There's enough teams, his own team, which he'll never join National Futsal League again because he's ran back, whatever. Uh, but you, there's enough teams out there to create something. So, so do it. You put it takes effort. Well, yeah, and then we'll go back to this. It's all right. It's about that. About I'm going to do this, do, do that, Dell, do this, blah blah blah. Do something. Yeah, yeah. Because all I hear about is how bad something else is, or how bad he's running this, how bad he's running that. You had your chance to run it, the league, and you bombed it. Yeah, yeah. So if you want to run another league, go run another league. Yeah. And get everyone to come across to you. Yeah. And then happy days. Prove prove everyone right that you you run yeah. the best league in the world, and and, it, and it's fantastic. If not. Just shut up. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's bored of it. Well, I think I think the fact that no one no one comments on that. Well, I, I, I think I comment on one, and you comment on the other. 
and then or brass it or comment on it. I think no one, no one's listening. No one cares. No. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I think it's got to a point. They might have cared at one point. I think. Uh, yeah, obviously things on Twitter as well. It's it yeah, as far as I can see, since we started, the standards have got better. Cause that that first season we played with Carlisle, I thought that was all right, but a bit crappy. The second season, that was shocking. I think just because teams refused to, in the end, refused to travel. Yeah. The league did nothing. I think we all tried sorting it one day on. Um, we tried sorting all sorts of that big WhatsApp managers group we had. Oh, yeah, yeah. We tried sorting um, games, who was going to play. And then in the end, it just went... They just allowed teams not to travel. Yeah, yeah. There was no fans, no one got... Uh, oh, well, yeah, they're, they're allowed to play in the North West because they didn't want to come to you and get whooped. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, don't, don't join... Don't join the National League, then. <laughs> Go play in Soccer Sixes or something yeah, yeah. with... But the Skipton, the oh, they said don't mention it. I know, I've got Skipton in. <laughs> uh, they got just on Skipton. I'll just jump. They got beat. They lost. They've been romping that league and they got beat. <laughs> Do you know why? It's because Pedro started back. Yeah, because Pedro Sheffield. probably played for Sheffield. And they have Pedro, they got beat. Idiots. Oh. Um, yeah, Skipton are romping that league now, so they might be ready to take on our under thirteen soon. Yeah, yeah, maybe. You never horrible. know. Horrible man. But yeah, so, so from that from that league. Then they all went. I think they all went and you took over. I think it's getting mad, it's getting better. Referees are up, well, people moan about refs, but that's a little bit out of your control. Um, yeah, I think I've had a few. I think issues. Ian Vane controls the referees, doesn't he? So that's pretty much out of your control to, to, to sort refs. Uh, but they're in enough. They're in, that's the top and bottom thing. They're in enough in certain areas. So, but the rest of it's getting well, getting better. The, the bank account's healthy. I'm sure. If again, if anyone wants to ask you. Where's the money? Can we see the finances? I'm sure you'd show them. Um, even Rob Brassett. Um, I think they'd be quite surprised if they saw how much is in the bank and how much we should have by the end of the season. I think they'd be quite I, surprised. I, I think they would. And uh, again, which well, I won't. I won't deny. Some clubs are upset by. I've got. I've, I've had one club in particular who probably agrees with some of the stuff Sharples and said. He he's absolutely gone for me, saying all the clubs are against me. I'm finding all the clubs and stuff like that. I'm finding clubs to, to try and improve standards. My the way I see tier three is, is it's developing teams, and I'm trying to help them get organised so we don't have all the crap that we had in our season, and try and get the teams that want to go up to tier two ready for it, so they're organised off the court mainly. So mm. the the I'm gonna mess around with all the all the admin. So it's all I even try and do a template for them. So it's literally put your kick-off time in here, you do this, you do that. So I spend all that time trying to get clubs ready for the next next level. So, so that's how I do it. And if you don't, unfortunately you're getting fined, but that money goes into the pot to <laughs> buy balls and bibs and, and then it improves the standards that way. So if you're crap, it's going to improve. It's going to help improve the, but you the league anyway. But, 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 so yeah, so I do, I, it's not, it's, what I'm saying is it's, it's not perfect and some clubs hate it, but at least I'm trying to do something to improve the standards and the outcome will be some club's going to get fined £400 a season someone's going to get naught but both of them are going to receive loads of balls and stuff like that and that's <laughs> so he's going to improve well, the standards. It's a simple thing if you don't want to get fined then just stick because you're not. Yeah. I, I, I'm sure you're not asking for much yeah. can you turn up on time can you send an email yeah um, can, you att- can you attend an AGM online <laughs> and barring that, I don't know what else we really have to do. Why well, you would get found? Yeah, Can yeah. you put your team sheet in on time? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I don't know. Again, it's yeah, just it's Sunday league stuff. Thinking, yeah. It's only got to do on Sunday league. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you're not turning up for your fixture, and you give a 24 hours notice with a crap reason, then yeah, you're going to pay the the own team's yeah, yeah. bill because why should they pay for that yeah, venue yeah. when you've ripped when you haven't <coughs> turned up? Yeah, yeah. Or you didn't want to travel. So if you don't want to travel, you don't want to pay fans. That's fine. Go join the league. Yeah, yeah. Again, there's room in Skipson's league for you, so <laughs> go join them and play with them. And if you don't want to turn up there, you might only get a 20 quid fan. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so now, you're right, mate, then level two's a lot better. There's still stuff I'd like to see improved. Yeah, yeah. As when we get to the pitch on last Sunday, it was yeah. it was pretty crap. Um, I will say that about that, I know we've, we've, we've gone on about the but the venue actually was quite nice. Oh, the good. court's massive. You can see it was obviously the seating's yeah. really good. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I the think Bolton are going to be using it for tier one if if that hub's accepted. Yeah, but I don't know how you're going to do it because you need all, all the way changing rooms, 
and you need a referee's room. I don't yeah. think they've got free rooms. Mm, yeah, they might be able to find. So you should have to wrangle them into some sort of other yeah. other closet. Well, you get around it. It's that hump for me. But you can't have that hump. I know the ref. The, the ref. I think they've said some, someone's going to go. Yeah, I think someone's going to go look at it. To me though, if you trip over that hump or and you land first, first. Well, I, People are in for a claim. But I, I, the big thing for me is you saw so Jordan and Pat were passing the ball to each other. And there was literally passing the ball and the ball was fli- flicking Cut off the off the hump. But if when you we saw that Warners, there was a there was a hump on the floor. Someone's fell over, gone down. It wasn't us, fortunately. It was someone that hires it in the day. But the full floor had to get redone. 20, 20 grand, I think it was, because it won't safe and someone had gone down and smashed the teeth out. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's what I mean. You don't have to trip up. The ball might flip up. You stand on the ball. Yeah, you yeah. go down. You do yourself a load of injury, and I, I know who's getting the blame because yeah. it won't be Liverpool. It's the refs. Because yeah. they go straight for the refs. They go. You said it was fit to play, man. It's not. Yeah. Or unless someone says it is fit to play, yeah. but it's a big risk. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. Is that I, what happens when you ref on grass? Is that absolutely? So if someone plays with the jewelry, is the classic. So if someone plays with earrings and then goes, I can't get out, mate. Can, yeah. I, can I leave it in? All right. And then he gets that earring ripped out. Yeah. It's me. Yeah. And then they're going, oh, it, it, you said it was all right. Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't. You said you wouldn't say now, that old chestnut. <laughs> oh, we won't say now, ref. If yeah, you didn't yeah. play with Patsy, no, I won't say now. Yeah, yeah. Until they get to the hospital and they go, well, that ref should have sorted that and then yeah, suddenly yeah. see money coming. And it's the referees that get it. Because it, it's the pitch has to be fit for play. Again, I think going back to Cal Aldis, when I moaned about the, the goals not moving. So what did he do? And, and again, I had to shut up because I've moaned about the gold. Because the, the gold completely moved about a yard, didn't it? Yeah. And he scored when the goal had shifted. And it, like, it, the angle, it, it gone, it, so it gone back. Yeah, it shifted the goal round so and you, he scored. A, instead of it being a narrow angle, he had a straight angle because the, the goal was down the other side. And he scored. And he scored. And I said, can you, can you do the, So what did I do? Brought some massive 20 Jim, kilogram weights. And, Jim Waits. <laughs> and like them into the net. Oh, that's yeah, that, that's perfect, ref. Yeah. It won't move, but yeah, hopefully Pat do not fall on them because he'll we'll never see him again. It's fractured skull time. But I think it, yeah. That's... Oh, well, let, yeah. Should we, I don't know. Should we talk about fractured skulls? <laughs> I, think, I think we should because I think people. Well, it's happened twice now, hasn't it? Yeah, and the the Liverpool game. I think it, this is what sparked it off for us. Um, I think you was going towards the, the uh, running off the pitch. And you just got off the pitch, and he shoved you when you're off the pitch, and you've gone down. Which we, which to be fair, we, we we spoke about for the Bolton game. It happened there as well. Yeah. And for me, it's like it's a freebie. I think the ball goes out of play, so you can. We had it at, at home against Leicester last season. Balls up, someone needs someone in the back. When the balls out of play, you seem to be able to get a freebie, or whether it's just against us. But that's three incidents now where we've had anything that's on the pitch. If you push someone in the back. And they pushed them to the floor on the pitch. I'd expect a foul, I, but off the pitch, I don't know whether it's because they can't give a foul. I, I, I don't know. But so I got pushed to the floor. I've gone down and I've sort of it sort of figured, figured my neck and and I've, I've hit my head on the floor. But for those that don't know, when as I was coming, I, I was playing at Alfreton and I dropped down to Ferriby to play football, uh, so I could focus on futsal. So I dropped my football level so I could focus on futsal because that had become my priority. And my first pre-season game, dropping down, I think I dropped four levels or three levels, no, four levels. Uh, balls go, goalkeeper, one goal kick, I'm on the touchline to head it, I'm centre forward. Going off my head, I can't get it. So what I do as is, is a centre forward is I'll, I'll protect myself, I'll just go forward so I don't get one of them over, mm. over on my neck. Uh, as I've done that, kids push me and I've hit my head against the wall. Yeah, there's a wall, uh, people who don't know this ground, there's a wall probably about <sighs> two metres back, it's, it, and it's yeah. a solid brick wall, and it's yeah. so high, <clears throat> and you've gone, Yeah. and obviously you've got a fractured skull, haven't you? Well, yeah, I was, out, I was, I was done, I didn't know, I didn't know, well, I was out of it for I think, I think they said nearly two hours, uh, so I was having seizures on the side of the court, I fractured my skull, I had a brain injury, uh, I was bleeding on my brain. I was in hospital for four days. I was fortunate I didn't need a plate in my head. And I had eight months out of the game. So we won tier three, and I think I missed the first. I think I came back. F- I don't know. Well, I came uh, later. It was late on in the yeah, season. Late on in the season. Uh, I think Sunderland away, and I had to wear one of them 
<laughs> and then caps <laughs> after that. Yeah. But what he did do, what he did do was, with it being a brain injury, my, f- I used to be probably one of the fittest players out there, but my, I fatigue really quickly now because 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 of my brain and the injury I had on it. So if I get pushed to the floor and I bang my head, or I jerk my head, or I run too hard, or I've done too much, like in that final when I had to take that rest, that breather for that fifteen minutes, it's because I've had a brain injury, and I just get upset because we put a bit stupid of me, but we play the sport surrounded by walls now. Yeah, and this could—it's more likely to happen in futsal than it is football, especially with these tight ones. I think. We've, we've been at a few aren't where there's a brick wall either down right, or behind the goal yeah Leicester's quite tight on one of the sides so we found the refs were, refs were fine I'm sure the thought I was putting it on but uh, yeah if you see me laid on the floor it's because I have to I, yeah <laughs> and I, I think I, I, can't, I don't know if this happened but I'm sure there, there was all in their ears the refs ears Ronnie was in their ears before we turned up saying watching me darty darty jumping yeah, on, yeah. on the floor blah 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 Um. But yeah, when you got when you went down on that far side, it yeah. was, and then they're all just like, yeah, no, they've no, with them, and yeah, yeah. O- hopefully they're in. Well, yeah. <laughs> but the, the problem is when you get a little slight knock, you've got to lay there and just think, is there what's going on? Yeah. And make sure you're all right instead of jumping up like E man and yeah, there yeah. is something wrong. Then yeah. no. So I know teams think we're drat it, but yeah, I think I think the it's, upsetting thing for me is the fact that what happened to me was off the pitch I just I was off I was on, on the sideline and the ball was going out of play and I ended up in hospital for four days it's like it's a freebie and I don't know why that's three different refs and three different games uh, yeah. where it's off the court and it's it's deemed acceptable I don't I, I think they're a bit gutless there especially when you've got your back turned well, well that's exactly uh, if, it's your back turn, if it's your back turned and they're shoving you I just think oh mate that's and to me they're just the gutless little challenges then that shouldn't I know people do it and probably our players do it so I'm not just singling out a team. Yeah, yeah. But just needs. It, it's one of them. If if it, I look at these challenges. If it, someone shoves you while going off the pitch and nothing happens, you don't, you don't, nothing said. If he shoves you and you go down, and you crack your head on that wall, he'd be sent off. And the only difference is if you've stayed on your feet or not. So if you go down the side into a wall, he's sent off. Well, I don't, I don't actually don't know. Yeah, I don't know what actually happened it in that game. Well, I think they abandoned right? the game, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, because I couldn't, I couldn't get off the pitch. So what? So hours. what? What the ref will have probably done was <laughs> just abandon the just game. Just abandon the game and then just got it was accidental. Yeah, yeah. And then he doesn't have to deal with that. The worst thing in that game is I was on at the ref to say the ref this, this game it was a friendly, but it was too close rivals and it was getting out of hand and I was on at the ref to say yeah. ref you need to do something about this and then. The next thing I'm waking up to a doctor saying, uh, "Danny, it's it's bad news." So I'm, I actually fought the worst. Yeah, yeah, I actually was. fought the worst, and he, he said, "You fractured your skull and you've got a brain injury." And I was like, "Well, what, what does that mean?" At that point, I was like, "I don't." You're telling me it's bad news, and I was like, <laughs> "I remember saying to it, will I live?' <laughs> so I'm stupid now because I'm sat here for all this shit. But that that was that was my concern at the time. He said, "He's like, oh yeah, you, you'll you'll recover. You might not ever be the same. Do you know what I mean? We, yeah. we can't tell you what the outcome's going to be going forward." Uh, yeah, I, I don't think I asked if I could play again. But yeah, I was out of it for four days. I was, uh, on, I I was, I was on high drugs. The wife was coming in. She 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 didn't know what had happened. Uh, she just got told I was in hospital and. Do you know what I mean? I was stable. And that, that's well, the I was bringing you miss you. Miss you. I'm trying to keep in touch with her to find out what had gone on. She so I heard on the night. I was I, I was with Molly and I heard there's been a bad injury yeah, at, yeah. at Therapy and and then I found out. Oh, it's Danny's involved. I'm like, oh, if he's broke his leg playing bloody football and killing him <laughs> for the season. Well, that was it, wasn't and it? Then, yeah. And then it's like, I played futsal for for the rest of for my sort of career thing, and I played football for money. So my football side, I, I said, if I play football, it's to fund. My kids go on a holiday. That's why I play. That's why I play football now. I'm open and honest with the team I play for. I say I'll play when I can. I play futsal. I'll play for you. This is what I want. Uh, fortunately for for them, I keep scoring every time I play. <laughs> but I'm openly honest. I want to take my girls to Disneyland. I want to. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. that's that's. But my 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 futures with futsal. So I I could easily give this up and earn good money playing football still even at 38. But. I choose this. <laughs> I choose this. But, this, uh, but yeah, so I just think it's. I don't know. It, it, will it take someone to do what I did 
I hope, yeah, I hope not. Do you know what I mean? For, for, for these little crappy ones when the ball's going out of play to be pulled up. Well, I've changed the way the, the kids play, so we, again, oh, we yeah, play. Right. so normally coaches or parents understand it until I, I ex, until I explain what. So even shoulder badges at the side of the pitch, I've given a foul because I'm trying to get into a habit of realising you're surrounded by brick walls and your safety comes first. So if you're thinking about shoulder barging someone at the side of the court and knocking them off court, well, giving a chat, I've got a load of crap. I had one kid who said it's not coming because it's not proper. It's not proper. Well, wait, you you played futsal, uh, not futsal, five or side like that, I did in my yeah. era. And every time you wanted to nail someone, that was, was that was your get out one. Smash him into the wall. Yeah, yeah. Wham! Smack him into yeah, the yeah. wall. Not care about him. Yeah, yeah. And you get away with it. Shoulder yeah. badge, yeah. yeah Just shoulder, shoulder badge for a brick wall. Yeah, yeah. And that was what we. But we could get away with that then. Yeah. Where now it's, it's it, we have to look after players. though. it's, it's yeah. Like I say, I, I don't. There was no blame there. No, no, no. no, no I, I, I re- but I if rarely ref, tell that if refs are what if any refs do watch this, you do see that they go down. You think he's play acting or whatever you think's going on. Yeah, yeah. Just maybe just think was it? Uh, as you banged his head. Just have a little think before listening to the other team spouting and abusing his left, right, and centre. Yeah. Um, but it did it? It, but it, it, it changed. I, I was quite. Conscious after that, and I don't think I get my best game. I think it sort of took my mind off things, probably along with the changing rooms and everything else that had happened. Well, I was constantly, I was, you know, <laughs> I, I was constantly reminding us not to get involved, and oh, no. it was on my mind and, and the hump. <laughs> <laughs> it was, yeah, yeah but that's it. it, but, it, 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 uh, it but yeah, it was yeah. yeah. But, but yeah, if I go down, that, that doesn't give license for people to start smashing me to brick walls because they don't. <laughs> no, no, because the other, the, the, other way, the other way around, we can all do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we've got um, and we've got some FD lads who can do it, but yeah, yeah. it's not yeah. not in the spirit of the game, that for me. Yeah, but yeah. If you're doing it on the court and you're putting the bigot on the court, fair play. If that's how you the, if fair that's, play, yeah, yeah. But off but the court, off the court yeah. pushing yeah. people mm, while they're defenceless. Just, <laughs> mm, bit gutless for me. Bit yeah. gutless. Um, so yeah, we've got Trent on. Sunday at home. Yeah. Trent on Sunday, so I think they had a good result against Manchester. I think that's their first win. Yeah, that's their first... they won one in the cup, didn't they? But the first league win, I think. Yeah. So I got that. Might have been pro, might have sound players, don't know. Some say. Might be, might be, might have just grown up. Might have grown up. Man- well, well, might, did... Manchester might have gone with a crap team. I don't know. But I ain't seen the game. I think we said last season, didn't we? Um, we spoke about maybe the tactics where. We, we didn't see any improvement in the tactics, but what we did see is they've got some good players. So yeah, they probably had a pre-season with them now. If they sorted certain things out, then... It might, might, yeah. might be just one of them improving teams. Finally got the grips of it. Don't know. Yeah. We'll see on Sunday. It's the beaters, the beaters. That can't... <laughs> well, that yeah. we could do, is say. I'll... Yeah, yeah. I'll um, yeah. Yeah, but... We'll definitely have him a change room. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. and we'll... Uh, yeah, yeah. And I'll still meet him on the door. after. Yeah, and, yeah. so... Mm. Yeah. We are what we are, mate, but we still. Yeah, we're trying. We to... still have standards. I might not like you when I'm talking to you, but I'll still talk to you. <laughs> I'll probably even meet Junior. If he was here, I'd still go across, talk to him, show him his changing room. You don't have to like a guy to talk to him, do you? But you still have to show a little bit of hospitality. I think it's the small talk, in it? Yeah, I yeah. think you just got the small talk. Yeah, <laughs> if you don't like someone, you, you go. I'm not interested in how your journey room. was, or yeah, how, yeah. You, how you got here, or yeah, yeah. whatever, or how your family is, but. Yeah. I'll at least show you to your change room and tell you and do your team sheet all that sort of stuff what I need to do and yeah I'll check you around before the game if you want to but yeah, yeah. I'm sure many people won't but again on that I, I, I go to many a team and they don't check our hands but I always put it on the home team the home team to me should be going across check their hands I think I do it every game should be going to the away team good luck good luck we all don't mean good luck but we're just saying that we hope you get hammered 20 nil, whatever but it's just KSA, common KSA. You have to. Yeah, yeah. You have to really. Then if you don't want to shake my hand at the end, don't I'm not. Who, who hasn't shook your hand? Go on, I'm gonna call you out here. Yeah. Who hasn't shook my hand? Loads don't shake. Uh, to on. be honest, I, I, I get out the road. I don't, did any of them shake my hand at the end? Probably not. It was probably all dancing and um, celebrating with the uh, <laughs> <laughs> the M62 Cup. What they've just won. <laughs> but yeah, yeah I, to be honest, at the end of a game, did you really shake your hand? No, he just moaned at me. All right. He just said I was out of order for talking to one of his lads. All right. For, for, for asking if it, again, that gave you up his story. But did, again, Matt, did Matt shake your hand? Yeah, Matt, Matt's all right. I think after he kicked his water bottle. <laughs> 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 oh, Darby, right. You want to see this. You need to watch the highlights. Our, our favourite player, Joe Wilston, yeah. on tier one. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's gone tier one. Okay. Big time. Yeah, we called him out. Guess what colour trainers he's wearing? Uh, black and yellow. No. Oh, I thought. <laughs> I thought he was. Go on. What was the worst? What was the worst? What was the worst? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anymore with football boots. What's he got? Bright pink. Bright pink. Bright pink. Wow. They look like little pig's trotters. Well. Got to be some player to wear pink boots. Well, if we go back 30 years, mate, we'll be your player. If you wore pink boots. <laughs> if you wore any... Yeah, time to change, mate. Time to change. If you wear black boots now. Well, yeah. If you, did, if you didn't wear black then, you... you I, I've seen kids coming in them white boots yeah, and yeah. fight fancy white boots. Yeah, first, yeah. first challenge you got on his ass, bang, smack. Yeah, yeah. You don't wear white boots, kid. Yeah. But now, yeah, pink boats. Pink boats, yeah, so... How did he play? Did he do any good? I only saw the highlights. Didn't really see much. Did I think he went fly on one of them. Um, right. Yeah. All right, so he's doing well then, pink boats. Pink boats looking yeah, the part. Some player Thought there. That. Thought he's obviously up in his game. Up in his game. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if there's anyone else we could get into before we no. <laughs> before we go. Not really. Chapels and Brasset have had Cha it. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, we've, we've eased off Junior this week. Yeah, Skip's um, had a little bit. Anything else? No. Nah. What about Wardy's Chris Tarrant impression on the futsal say Are you having that? No, nah, man. No? No, 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 no. Do you think he's not? Yeah. Yeah, good futsal player. Yeah. I think, it, yeah. Yeah, stick, just, stick, just stick think, to the fact yourself lucky you can play futsal, I think. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> impressions, no, I'm not uh, having it, I'm not having it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I quite like them too, so they was alright with them too. Yeah, I listened to it again, like I say, just I put it on and I'll soon fall asleep to it, so it takes me about a week to get through an episode, but yeah. Yeah, I never, I, yeah, I like him. At least they're, they're, they're doing something, aren't they? Well, yeah. Again, we need more people doing stuff. Yeah, yeah. We just need more. Everyone, it just needs to get more and more on social media. I don't media. Know if anything, you know, Like I say, it's a shame about how it's they've put a rule in and you've got to be five metres away. Yeah, it's but for, from, it's probably from standard technical. Bloody number 10's agent, who I had a, who I did <laughs> with at Liverpool, <laughs> won't allow to, because he got on video. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Well, yes, I said, is he upset? And he went, no. <laughs> what, are you, what are you saying it for yeah, yeah. the guy's 30 on I think he can speak for himself I'm surprised he even watched it you don't watch it no <laughs> but no, um, yeah, I, I, it was just yeah don't the, like it don't watch it <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly but I thought that was a good one but they're killing it now we've got side of a car we've got a fat yeah. meters back uh, it's it's not quite done Unfortunately, you're the star of that show. I know you don't like that, but <laughs> <laughs> it's, your, it's your reactions. That's that's what makes that. <laughs> but yeah, because the foot salad, uh, the best of quality show was there. So we'll. Yeah, uh, but I, I was quite calm at Liverpool. I don't think I got the refs. Like, I don't think I got into the refs. I thought uh, not shouting at any refs. No, I think. I think. But that was between the cameraman and the number ten. I think. The cameraman keep the ball away for him. It was all like that, is it? Yeah. What he was saying, like, what the fuck are you doing, man? Yeah, he was like, John, this is Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, I think mean, that was all it was, but yeah. But I think put it, it in because that was like. It was quite good. It was a good part of it, yeah. It was part I of the game. I think they just held a grudge. I don't know when we played him. Was it early? I don't, I know. don't know. But they must have held a grudge for. Yeah. Well, he won't play as a friend. I asked him for a friendly. Uh, I, asked, I asked Liverpool for a friendly when we first started. In, in July, and he went, Oh, no, no, we're, we're, again, blah, blah, blah. And we're playing your first game of the season, so we don't want to. Oh, whatever, mate. Good then job, because uh, it's what the plans worked, mate. Uh, oh, yeah, the plans worked. But, <laughs> and then they go off, like, friendlies against Warrington or someone who got beat 97 0 or something. Who the <laughs> were they playing at the weekend? They got absolutely tanked. Yeah, I've, uh, I've, yeah, the play, I can't think of the players, but it's uh, not something, uni or not, I think. Uni or not, but. Uh, yeah. Well. So yeah, if you want again, um, but I think they played Manchester and Liverpool at weekend. I don't, I don't quite. They're, I think they're playing. They're, they're playing friendly. They're playing Friday. I think they're playing Friday. They're now. playing Friday in summer, but they played. I'm sure they played, they played Manchester, Manchester last week. Well, I thought last week was what's happening this week, so I thought they were playing at the. Manchester but again, game, but. he didn't put his result on, did he? Like you know, we get questioned in our friendly, so we didn't put results up. Well, I'll tell you what. I no one's put, interested. I ain't put. I ain't put. To be fair, I really struggle with the social media side of I me mean, just because everything we're doing here. I, I hope like Trent put some on so I can retweet it just so someone knows. Oh, they have, I think. think. Yeah, Trent have. Yeah. Yeah, so I retweet. I just haven't, unfortunately, I haven't got time. We've got time to do this because we're waiting for trading. But, yeah. and it's quicker for me to stay here than go home and come back. So, 
I've got time to do all that. God knows when I'll edit it, but hopefully, hopefully it's out for edit. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that, it, like I say, it's not because we win or lose. It's just we've got a lot more going in the club than just our men's team. I've got to get all these kids back, and I've got to send the invites out. The league's supposed to start next week, and I've just been going through all the league to, the leagues are here. I don't know how many of the teams there is there. There's about 90 different teams. I'm trying to get them the first fixtures. We start at three new venues next week. All of them haven't got goals in. Got to get them there. This place isn't even set up yet. We don't get this little seat. So there's just so much going on. I ain't got time to create a poster and do all that. And yeah, I could probably ask someone else to do it, but I'm not asking you. Uh, It'd be like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I thought you could ask. It was really good. Um, Rob Brassett, he's got some real good <laughs> image. No, his artwork looks really good, what he uses. So let me see where he, how he does that. Yeah, well, yeah. Or I could get my um, three-year-old cousin to do a, like a stick drawing with crayons. To be fair, Maybe he's done that. really well. Cause he's print, I'll tell you what he's done, he's printed that on A4 paper and he's managed to line it up perfectly. But he's not used sellotape, he's, he's obviously used print stick because it's lined up so perfectly you can't see any shine. So fair play to him, he's, he's done really well there, Rob Brassett. Uh, you four kids love all that man it's good and for a national competition that I'm, I'm quite surprised so. but yeah uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, got you I, I, don't, I don't even need to finish this video but I'm just, we're just going on yeah, exactly. uh, well, I, I bet Jeremy is loving this Rob Brassy he's blade off him yeah um, well, we haven't mentioned you earlier really. no we'll get him in a few weeks don't yeah. we in the cup yeah well the, the battery's going to go so we'll have to finish I can see it flashing red yeah, that's just done, mate. So, yeah, if we, beat, if we beat Trent, we'll do another video early next week. And if Trent beat us, we'll wait a couple of weeks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that's just done, I think. Yeah, all right.